So now that we have created our form and I've showed you how you could get information out of your upload files, I want to start writing a PHP script that will fetch the image and upload it. But before we continue on, I made a small mistake in the last episode. We do not need to create an upload.php in our uploads folder, but we need to create one in our super globals folder. So let's create it right now. So what we want to do in our upload.php is to do some checks that needs to be met before the image will be uploaded. This is also called error handling. So we basically want to set a limit for the size and we can specify which user is able to upload. And we basically want to specify which files a user is able to upload. So in our upload.php, let's create opening and closing PHP tags. And inside the tags, we want to create an if statement because we want to check if the button is actually submitted. And I'm talking about the button in our form where the type is equal to submit and the name is equal to submit. And this can be done with the isset function. So let's go in our parentheses, write down isset, another set of parentheses, and we want to check for the super global, so dollar sign underscore post, followed by a set of brackets and single quotes. And in our single quotes, we want to search for submit. So whenever the button is submitted. The first thing that we want to do is to get the information of the file. And this is basically what we did in our last episode. So let's create a new variable called file. And let's set it equal to dollar sign underscore files, set of brackets, single quotes, and we want to search for the file. And the file is the same as the input field. So let's go back. And you can see that the input field has a type of file and a name of file. And it's looking for the name. So the first two things that we want to check is the file size and what type of file it is. So let's go one line below. Well, we can actually copy our first variable. Let's paste it. And let's change file to name. And since we are working on an associative array, we need to put another set of brackets after files. And we want to specify what we're looking for. And in our case, we're looking for the name. So let me add it as a comment, find file name. So let's copy paste it a couple of times again. We also want to know the temporary name. And the second set of brackets is also equal to temporary name, TMP underscore name, excuse me. We want to know the size, so the file size. Let me change the comments as well. And we want to know if there are any errors. So, so what we want to do now is to tell which files are allowed to be uploaded. So if you want to work with images, we need to specify that we only want to have JPEG or PNG, or even both. And if the condition is met, we could continue on with our code. So let's create a new variable and let's name it file extension and set it equal to something that you probably haven't heard before. And this is called explode. And this is a built-in function in PHP. And what this does, it, it basically splits a string in different strings. So it makes an array out of the file extension. And what we want is to split our image name whenever the punctuation mark is found. So let me show you how this works. So let's say we have test.jpg. What we want is to create an array with test and with JPEG. So with the explode function, we want to say that whenever the punctuation mark is reached, split the name. So let me remove it. And the explode function takes two params. The first one is where we want to explode the name. So in single quotes, we want to explode it at the punctuation mark, comma, and the second param is the actual file name that you want to explode. So in our case, it's our variable name that we created at the top. So let's write down name. Now let me add a comment. Explode from punctuation mark. So now that we have created an array with two pieces of data, so the first part is the name and the second part is the extension, so the file type. 
Let's replace our file extension name to temp extension because this is the temporary file extension. And let's create a new variable called file extension. And what we want to do with our file extension variable is to set it equal to another function that we actually have discussed before. And this is the string to lower. And the reason why we are doing this is because PHP is case sensitive. And if someone is uploading PNG or JPEG with capitals, the extension will not match. So whenever you have a PNG with capitals, that's not equal to PNG in lowercase. So what we want to do is to convert it to lowercase so we cannot make any mistakes. What our file extension variable needs to be equal to is the last part of the array. So remember, we have our temporary extension, which explodes our name. And we want the last part because after the punctuation mark, we get our extension. Now we can use another function inside our string to lower function called end. And what the end function does is it outputs the value of the last element in an array. And what we want is the last element of the array temp extension. So the first one is the name, and the second one is the extension after the punctuation mark. Now that we actually got the file extension, we need to create something that will check if the file that the user tries to upload is allowed. So we need to create a new array, and I will call it is allowed. And I want to set it equal to an array. And since we actually got the extension of the image that the user will upload, I want to allow, well, in single quotes, JPEG, JPEG with an E. I want to check if PNG, and I want to check for PDF files. So let me add a comment, and let's say allowed extensions. So now that we have the extension of the image that the user will upload, and we have the extension that we will actually allow, we need to create something that checks if the file that is being uploaded is allowed. So let's create an if statement right below our array. Inside our condition, we want to use another built-in function called in underscore array. And this function has two params. The first one is the variable that we want to check for. In our case, it's file extension. And the second one is the array that you want to check if the first variable is in there. And that's the allowed extension variable, so is allowed. So let's write it down, is allowed. And if this is true, we want to continue on. So what we basically want to do in here is to do a couple of checks. So whenever the extension is met, we want to check if there are any errors. So let's create another if statement inside our if statement. And we want to check if our error variable is equal, equal, equal to zero. So let's write down my error variable and let's set it equal, equal, equal to zero. And like I said before, if there is an error, the system will return one. And if there is no error, the system will return zero. So let me add that as a comment. Zero is no error. One is equal to error. Before we continue on, let's create an else statement after the extension check. And let's say echo, sorry, your file type is not accepted. And it's a good thing to work with if else statements so you prevent that your application will shut down. So if we remove our else statement and we try to upload the image, we will probably get an error message and the application will be shut down. And let's create another one for after the error check, where we want to say echo, sorry, there was an error, try it again. So now that we have checked the extension, and if that's true, it will be checked for error messages. And what we want to check after is, well, inside a new if statement, so an if statement inside the if statement of another if statement, and the condition will be the size, because we want to check if the file size is less than a certain amount of kilobytes. So I actually Googled what an average image is, 
and it's around 2.3 megabytes. But we need to keep in mind that PHP works with kilobytes. So 2.3 megabytes is equal to 23,000 kilobytes if I'm not wrong. So let's change it to less than 30,000, just to be sure. So what we're gonna do is, well, if our file size is two megabytes, this is allowed because it's less than. So just like the other two checks, let's create another else statement and let's echo out, sorry, your file size is too big. And this is actually the last check that we will be doing. So if it passes the first if statement, so the extension, we will check for the errors. And if this is passed, then the size will be checked. And inside the if statement of the file size, we want to actually upload the file size. But before we do that, we need to give it a proper name. Because if an image is being uploaded with a name that already exists in our upload folder, the last uploaded image will override it and the first image will disappear. So let me, well, write that down for you. So let's say that there is an image with the name test.png and another user uploads an image with the first name test.png. So what will happen is that the first image will disappear because the second one will overwrite the first one. And that's not what we want because, well, image one will be destroyed actually. So let's scroll up. And what we need to do is to give every image a unique ID. And that's actually a built-in function. So let's create a new variable in our size check. And what we want to name it is new file name. And let's set it equal to a function called uniqid. And what unique ID does is basically it generates an ID based on the micro time. And it has two params. The first one is prefix, and this is optional. So we're going to write two single quotes and a comma, and nothing inside of our single quotes. And the second one is the entropy. And let's say that this is equal to true. If we continue on right now, we will just continue with a new file name, but no extension. So what we actually need to do is to add the file extension to our new file name. Otherwise, we will just, well, if I go back and write down test.png, right now, we're just getting test back. But what we want to do is to add our .png. So let's go up and let's concatenate it. So let's say punctuation mark, double quotes. And what I want to add is, well, first a punctuation mark because while well, we're exploding it and we're only getting our JPEG or PNG back and not the punctuation mark before. And what we actually want to concatenate it from is the file extension variable that we have. So it's this one where we have the string to lowercase. So now that we have actually got the file name and extension, we need to specify where we want to upload it to inside our root folder. So inside our if statement, let's create a new variable called file destination. And let's set it equal to the actual destination. So what we want to is to upload it in uploads. So let's write down uploads forward slash, and we need to add the name of the image, which is equal, well, to one line above, variable new file name. Let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, this looks better. On the next line, we want to create a function that actually uploads a file, because right now we only did some checks and we just gave it a new name. So let's go one line below our variable file destination. And the function that we are going to use is move underscore uploaded underscore file. And inside the parentheses, we want to write down the temporary location. And remember, we did that at top. So we created a variable called tmp underscore name, comma, and the location where we want to send it to. And that's what we did, well, one line above in our variable file destination. And the last thing that we want to do is to redirect the user back to the front page. So let's use a function that you probably haven't heard before called header, parentheses, 
semicolon. And this is a function that sends a raw HTTP header to a client. So what we want to say inside double quotes is location, colon, files.php. So whenever the button is clicked, I want to be redirected, well, to the same place. And to make sure that it actually works, let's add a question mark, upload it, success. So let me zoom out a little bit. Let's go back to the browser. Well, let me actually go back and start over again. Well, save it first, of course. Upload files. Choose an image. Well, I've got an image of the Joker. Click on it, submit it, and something actually went wrong. Let's see what went wrong. Let's go back to files.php, and I can see that the action needs to be equal to upload, because that's actually when we, what we want to check. So let's save it, refresh it. Well, let's, let's actually go back. Go back to files, choose file, Joker, submit. And something went wrong again. Unexpected new file name on line 22. I actually forgot to concatenate it. So let's save it, refresh the browser. And this is actually good because otherwise we would receive an error message. Well, our file is too big right now. So let's change it to, well, 100,000, refresh the browser. And if you look at our URL, it says upload successful. And if I actually look inside of my uploads folder, you can see that an image just appeared on my screen. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.